Truex wins. The favorites look like they finally showed up this year, and there were a ton of pit road mistakes. All that and more coming up next on the recap. So Martin Truex wins the race. He absolutely dominated the last third of that race. Joey Logano and Ryan Blaney look strong at points. Uh, Ryan Blaney obviously wins the first stage, put on a good battle with Logano, and Logano won the second stage with uh, Truex closing in rapidly. But by the time the final stage started, it was very clear that Martin Truex was the man to beat, and he went out there and he did what he needed to do and won that race. So congratulations to Martin Truex and the Joe Gibbs organization. Put on a pretty dominating performance, and it was uh, kind of boring to watch, but good for them. Good win. So for the first time this season, last year's favorites showed up in a big way. Harvick and Hamlin, last year's class of the field, were consistently in the top 10. And the Finney champ, Chase Elliott, had a lot of speed at times. Along with fellow playoff contenders, Joey Logano, Ryan Blaney, Brad Keselowski, they all showed really good speed. And of course, this is significant because... The Phoenix is the championship uh, race for the end of this season, so this is sort of our little preview of what's to come uh, if these guys make the final race of the season, make the playoffs, and all that good stuff. So tonight you saw your favorites of who could possibly win the championship going forward. Another guy who had just as much speed and was as fast as Truex at points in the race was Kyle Larson. But he faded late, and this was partially because he sped on pit road twice and probably burned up his stuff getting back up to the front on those several occasions that he had to do that. But he was not the only one who had problems on pit roads. At least four to five other drivers were caught speeding, including Chase Briscoe, Tyler Reddick, and Chase Elliott. This all kind of ruined their days as well, except for Chase Elliott, who was able to work his way back up to the top five. I think he finished fourth or fifth. But uh, this leads me to the point that either NASCAR had a scoring loop error on pit road or these guys were unnecessarily pushing it on pit road. Either way, this is something that they're going to have to clean up going forward, especially for that championship race if any of these guys make it. And finally, a few things that gained a little traction on social. Some people were worried about Ford's performance this year because they haven't won a race other than the surprise win of Michael McDowell. I think it's a little too early in the season to be jumping off a bridge just yet. The Penske Fords have shown a lot of speed. Stuart, ha Stuart Haas seems to be a little bit down, but Kevin Harvick and Eric Amarola both showed a lot of speed today. So I wouldn't be too concerned if I'm a Ford person just yet. Obviously today Truex hit the setup, but if Truex hadn't hit that setup... You had plenty of forwards that were right there to take that vic victory. Uh, particularly Joey Logano was really good, and Brad Keselowski also showed a lot of speed. Blaney, like all the Penske cars are really good. So I wouldn't be, you know, too concerned if I'm forward just yet at least. Also, a lot of people were worried that the Phoenix race, because Truex dominated it the way he did, is not going to be a really good championship race. I personally don't put a whole lot of stock into that because any guy can hit a setup and absolutely dominate a race. Uh, no matter when it is, no, no matter what track it is, except for the uh, Daytona, Talladega, those plate plate tracks, uh, it's a reduced induction or whatever they've got going on now, but formerly what we refer to as plate tracks. So unless you want to see a plate track decide the final race, which I think would be absolutely insane, I think Phoenix is as good as any place to decide your championship in this format, which I've gone on record before saying is a terrible way to decide a champion. But whatever. But I mean, as bad as this is, why not throw a Daytona in there? <laughs> just just a total crap shoot to uh, decide the championship. All right, that's all I got for you today. Make sure you subscribe down below. It helps us a lot. Um, and like the Facebook page. Thanks for your time. Peace.